Today, we're going to be with Chef Jay over at Fit Food. Chef Ryan. And Chef Ryan. And we're going to be throwing down some delicious drunken chicken parm. For those of you who don't know, I am a chicken parm connoisseur. So we're going to be throwing a little bit of my flavor in. Chef Jay doesn't know about it yet. And we're also going to be really showing what Jay does here, which is unique in the fit food or yeah. the meal prep game. Uh, you're a little bit different than the other brands that are out there where you take these delicious meals and really make them healthy and nutritious. Yeah, we're gonna take that restaurant quality meal that, you know, that, again, you love chicken parm. We're gonna clean it up a little bit. We're gonna clean it up with good quality ingredients, but also not all the super caloric, uh, you know, we're not gonna deep fry this chicken parm, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, um, it's fun food that's chef inspired, but also still stays honest and uh, has that integrity of good clean eating. Some semolina pasta, the semolina baby. So this is gonna be good, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna pull some more personality out of Jay. We're gonna dive a little bit deeper into his business and what he does. And uh, we're gonna make some delicious chicken parm. And then we're gonna be donating it to a family. We didn't pick that family yet, but stay tuned. We're gonna make sure this gets out to somebody in need. I'm gonna put on my, my, chef, my chef jacket here. For those of you who don't know, I make a fucking delicious chicken parm, all right? I can do it all. Sleep on me, you get slept. Chicken parm, scrambled eggs, I crush. Crush some scrambled eggs. Chef, we got some secrets too. Yeah. The Italians told me, they told yeah, me. No, oh, you told me 50% Italian, right? They, they said, they said, listen, you gotta tell this chef how you do it. You gotta get that extra butter in there. This thing might be a little snug. I've been lifting too much, I guess. So what do we got planned, chef? Yeah, what do we, we got to uh, start with? What's our prep? Yeah, well, we got we got the chicken breast that we got to work with. We got some uh, good gluten-free brown rice uh, breadcrumbs. We're gonna fuse a little Parmesan cheese, a little parsley, a little Italian seasonings. We're gonna oven fry it. It's a little different. Again, you go to the Italian joint, you're either gonna deep fry it or pan fry it. We're gonna oven fry it, which is really not frying it at all. We're still gonna get that beautiful golden color on there. A little semolina pasta. What we mean by semolina, it's semolina wheat, but it's also made by our friend's uh, semolina pasta shop in Red Bank. All fresh extruded pasta, all organic wheat. Some people are like, oh, wheat, gluten. I'm like, uh, listen, uh, I'll crush a little bit of gluten all day. My thing is, is we're not gonna be the Olive Garden where you're gonna get a gigantic plate of pasta. It's gonna be an appropriate portion of carbohydrates. Uh, and then we're gonna do a little roasted vegetables. No one needs to try and play the pasta. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, exactly. Well, that, that's where we go wrong. It's not the pasta itself, it's having a gigantic- Too much. Pasta. It's yeah, too much. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's being gluttonous. Yeah, spaghetti, right? Yeah. It's like pale. Yeah, baby. Bring the chicken. No, no. But we're also not gonna go over this. We got the some breadcrumbs. But these yeah, helps. Look down there, one of those bins, we got that Naples seasoning sandwich right there. Yep. We got Nashville. Yeah, the Naples. Chopped up bag of weed. Yeah, it does, it does. Alright, well, wash my hands, everybody. With blends leaf. It's gonna get cooked anyway. Two? Or you want three? I want to spice this. It's good. A little fresh parsley in there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. 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 Give me the best chicken form that you ever fucking had. Don't worry, I'll bring you a couple meals. Fireside cooking is coming to you soon. Woo! And leg wash, no? Dude, this smells delicious. I want to just eat this thing. Yeah. Where are your meal is at? Yeah, if you I'm starving, it's four o'clock, I just crushed some deadlifts. I'm like, yo, where the fuck is Jay with my fit food? There's no you know? surprises with us, brother. You, you place that order, you get that text at noon, it tells you when your delivery is coming, gives you like an hour window. It shows you where it's, it's at. It's Jersey. Yeah. There's a little bit of traffic, you know, yeah. things, things go a little awry. Yeah. So you get updates along the way, you want to open it up and kind of see where your vehicle's at. It's like that's Amazon, it. man. That's I mean, awesome. it's not, but it is. Yeah, that's you know? great. And, uh, how many eggs do we need here? Uh, let's see, we'll go about a dozen here. Full dozen, huh? Yeah. I'm cooking a similar dish I got. Eight pieces of cutlets. How many eggs do I need? Two or three eggs. Two or three eggs? Yeah. Eggs you gotta, you gotta, so you gotta try our scrambled egg dish, man. We got uh, scrambled eggs, turkey sausage patty, Ooh. two pieces of organic bacon, Ooh. and a little roasted red breakfast potatoes with a little, a little, a little uh, right sugar-free ketchup. All right, so we got that. We'll whisk that up. Are we allowed to just eat all of these that we make? Because it smells delicious. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna call her up and say, Emma, like, what's a family we could donate some of these meals to? Yeah, man, that's... Um, like anytime, even at the end of a long day, you know, like when 
My wife station. said this is one of the first times I could actually cook for her, so I gotta make yeah. sure I All right, her all right, home. yeah, we'll bring one home to her. Don't worry, Cal, I'm cooking for you. Don't say I never did nothing for you. All right. Is there a special technique here, Chef, that you like to utilize? All right, so pretty much what we're gonna do, man, is egg batter first. We're gonna let that egg run off, throw it in here, nice coating on both sides, and then the trick to what we're gonna do with the oven frying is again, we're not gonna, there's no fryers in here, we're not gonna deep fry it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take some of these big trays here, we're gonna put a little olive oil on the bottom, Make and sure then when we're done, sticking. what? Make sure it's not sticking. Well, not, no, 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 not, not just for the not sticking, we're gonna put a, a lot, put it this way, we're gonna put a, a bigger coat on there, because then when we throw that chicken in the oven, that olive oil is gonna kind of like bake into there a little bit, Ooh. and almost give it that like oven fried. It's, it's still probably a quarter of the amount of oil we would use if we were sauteing it, and probably, 5% of the oil if we were deep frying it, but it's still gonna bake in there, give it that golden color. So you got these big paws, I got you some extra large gloves. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, we usually just keep, you know, large and medium in here, but I knew this was gonna happen. I can do some serious damage with getting some egg wash on some chicken cutlets. Because again, if, if we were going just non-stick, you know, you just give it a little spray and that's it. Spray, spray, baby, it up. Because this is gonna bake into that chicken. That's gonna give it that, like, oven, Fried so looks that, that, that we're going, yeah, that we're going for. So, yeah, it's the same shit. Let Emerald would tell you on TV back in the day. I try to keep one hand wet, one hand dry. You know, if you're using the same hands and throwing, it, it's it's not a cross contamination thing. But if you're taking the same hand that you're it's dunking into the egg, it. it's gonna start clumping cool. up. Yeah, it's start gooking up. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna start here. Right in there. Let's see. If we want to make sure we get enough eggs on it. We want to make sure we wring it out though. Like, done. I just did it. I did it the first time. You told me not to do yeah, that, no. Chef. I already Look did it. Look what happened. Look what happened. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to start over. Sorry, Make sure we get enough on yeah. there, right? Toss it around. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. Yeah. We done fucked up already. Yeah. It's all good. Crash, here you go. Or if you want, the egg guy, the running guy, we can get like a little bit Oh, yeah, it's cold. These eggs just like look from Texas. Everything's better in Texas, Everything's right? Everything's better in Texas. I think you should do it. Right? Yeah. They wouldn't. I feel like I'd be hopping on with the same personality oh. and the same that, that shit. I don't mean that in a, in a... I had a couple of my girls here that work with us in the kitchen. They'd be giving you a look right now at that table. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna judge you. They'd be giving, they'd be giving you the same guy. Yeah, who the fuck is yeah. this guy? It's on the floor. Put that egg all over the place. You know, my wife also doesn't like me cooking at home because I, uh, I'm like, you know. She'd be giving like you more a, than the steak guy. Yeah, I'm like a tornado, you know? Yeah. yeah. We got a couple left. We gotta go crazy. We're not drowning. And again, compared to sauteing it or deep frying it, frying. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we're sauteing an extra version of olives. We got our crank a little high. We're gonna bake it at 350. But I started at 400. I like getting it nice and hot. It's gonna kind of sear up and, and get like a little bit of that goldenness on there. Yeah, but then we're gonna turn it down as soon as we throw it in. Crank that down. Oh. We'll salt, maybe a little oil so it don't stick together. Let's see what Chef Jay thinks. Yeah. We put a little yeah. salt, a little olive oil on here. What do we do? Definitely some salt. Brother, you know, we know we're salt like. this up, baby. Yeah. Chef, you tell me when to stop. Yeah. Let's go one more each. We want to make sure the pots doesn't stick together. Nice and salty, baby. We got uh, Chopping Red Bank. They got the restaurant right next door. Probably one of the best restaurants in Monmouth County. Yeah. Um, but they do fresh extruded pasta for us. Like I told you, man, some people are like, oh, don't you want to use like, you know, like brown rice pasta or quinoa pasta. I'm like, no, I want to use good pasta. Or Quality pasta. Organic flour and water. This is all fresh, made a couple of days ago. We got the fresh bundles of spaghetti. Oh. This is what Look we use for the, the people in Italy aren't fat. And then we also got a little bit, we're gonna mix and match. We're gonna do some of the meals with this, some of the meals with this. This is a uh, calamarata. I don't know what that means in Italian. I'm not gonna lie, Ryan. But I like to think it has something to do with calamari. Because it looks like little calamari, you know? Calamari, does. calamarata. I don't know, maybe somebody could tell us. That's, yeah, you can eat that. It's raw, but. It's, it's good. Good. Yeah, good. it's good. So, fresh pasta, two minutes. It's not like, the, you know, the... It's you not hard, it. it's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Two not minutes, shit. we're draining. Okay. Alright, so we got that in there. What is this? Yeah. Your passion for what you want to do that. I'm not just getting, I'm not getting Dairyland milk or, you know, like ShopRite milk or whatever. It's just, this is good. The opportunity to use what we do to support other local businesses. To be able to have these relationships with local farmers, local dairy farmers. And I could, I could hit the easy button. I mean, you're lying. Yeah. Just like I can't hit the easy button. Yeah, for sure. I can't ease route and just stayed in finance and was making multiple seven figures and 
play that whole game. I wanted to turn around and help the small business owners. Yeah. You can't go get the cheap pasta. You can't not have the organic milk, the good eggs down in Texas. Yeah. You can't do that. That's what makes us what we are. Yeah. I, I can't tell you, when we made the shift just to this pasta, within a month we must have gotten at least a dozen, probably if not more people that were instantly recognized the name and were thrilled that we were using it or got turned on to the name and then went to the restaurant and were like, I love those guys. Cause you go into their restaurant, you go into their restaurant, they got the same chalkboard that I have a flyer of that we drop in our bags that tells you where everything comes from, where they're sourcing their ingredients. That. And to the people that care about that, that's, I that's what matters. I think it's draining, there's a special technique to drain it. You gotta pour it a certain way so you don't burn the shit out of your arms. I'm a big side guy, come on, look at that. Mm, the semolina, baby. Bang. Just gonna hit it with a blast. Some cold water real quick. We're gonna dump it on it? No, yeah, yeah, we're gonna dump it right on. Because if, if we were the Italian restaurant, we'd obviously be serving this hot. But we want to cool all of this down. Cool it down? Yeah. We want to cool it down. Oh, we're gonna throw it in the fridge too. Yeah, yeah. We got the process, baby. You know what I'd do? We're gonna let that drain just for a minute or two. All right. Pull that water drain out. We're gonna throw it on a tray, get it nice and cold. It's not like the Italian joint where, you know, you're throwing it up in the Smells delicious. I'm starving. Wow. Look at that spin. That spin is sexy even. I'll go another five or six here. Five or six minutes? Yeah. Well, these ovens cook so fast. Yeah. We'll go six and then we'll check it. I don't want to make a mess here. Oh, yeah. Right Look at that. Make sure that bag don't get in there. Oh, I dropped one. Just one. I'm pretty Love happy it. with that. I'm ready. Oh, let's go. Two minutes, two minutes. We're gonna have our pasta. Immersive cooking, baby. Chef Jay's got nice and hot for us. Ready to go. What do we got next? Fresh pasta. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got our Colorado going. We gotta, get the, we gotta get the pasta cold. These are going in containers. This isn't like a restaurant. We can't just serve it hot. It's going to cold. I'm pretty sure that's probably like a... Uh... Hey, Chef Jay, why do we want to do it cold? I know we're serving it into into containers and it's going out. It's just, you, uh, I mean, you package something hot, it's just going to keep cooking. Yeah. You're going to put that lid on it. You're going to get condensation. You're you're probably going to get sick. You got to cool everything down. Right? Again, if we were a restaurant, different story. You serve it hot, you sauce it up. Yeah. A little bit of a different, a little bit of a different animal here. So uh, we let everything cool fully. And then when everything's fully cooled, we're gonna pull it out. That's when we're gonna start plating our stuff in a little bit. Ooh. What about it would make you sick overcooking it? Not not necessarily overcooking it. It's mm. if you put something hot in a container and just put that lid on it, uh -huh. it's just gonna eventually bacteria grows in warm temperature. It's not gonna make you sick in five or ten or fifteen minutes. Right. But if you let it naturally just put it in there hot and it eventually comes down to temperature, it's gonna take two or three hours. And by at that point you're gonna start getting like, yeah. bacteria growing. Got it. Yeah. Anything that we do like that is uh, Cold. We got to make yeah. sure we get it cold. All right. Dirt. Check it out. He's flying around. Yeah, he moves fast. I like it. I just can't move as fast in the kitchen because I'm not a professional cook yet. You got your Brooks on. I got my, yeah. I didn't know if we were gonna get dirty. I didn't know if I have it. If we had Chef Crocs, I was gonna order them, but you know, we kind of did this. Last I wish. Yeah, yeah. If this wasn't so last minute, I was gonna get. We've yep. got the ones with the leaf on it. I was going to get you that. Yeah, we got to get the name leaf on. brand. we got to get the fireside brand. we do that next time. Yeah, we'll do it next time. We'll cook for You know what we do? We do a little event. We cook for an event that we throw. Yeah. It raises money for charity. Well, uh, oh, yeah, we got the water overflowing. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Same deal. You see that four? I was professional for it. Nona Prev. I don't have a Nona, but if I did, she'd be crab. You know you school. made it when you got a temp check in your shoulder. We're about to test the chicken. You gotta get 165. 165. I like to pull it out. If it gets to like 155, 160, it will what they call carry over cook mm -hmm. to 165. So that, that's where you kind of want to be. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a see, check. Let's see what we got. You might, but you might you might be at uh, Celsius. No, no, you might have a dead battery. My battery died. I've been cooking too much today. I think we're actually right where we want to be. We're at like 163, 164. Always try to go like the fattest part of the chicken here. Good. Oh, two more minutes. Yeah, yeah. When these guys are done, we're not even gonna have a timer going. We're just gonna get another minute or two. We gotta uh, chop it up. We gotta chop up the broccoli. It's go. already chopped up. We're ready to go. We're just gonna toss it. All right. I'm good at tossing stuff. 
Actually, I might just go. Why are you keep going out my brooks, dude? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm walking. Bang, bang, Jay, I'm not caps like this. Jay, you, you're moving very fast. Wow, ah, so good. It's a good shake. Shake and bake. 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 You know, I'm not a fan of stems. Yeah. I mean, there's very nutritional value of stems. Veggies have chemicals and they're not for you. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. got. And now we're cooking 165. Even this, oh, yeah. even this, this oh, guy the in the big boy. piece, 163, yeah. 165. We're golden. Oh yeah, we're golden. Literally and figuratively. Do they look delicious? Yeah. So here, wow. We got we got three to carry, so that's one for you. Put this bad boy right up top here. We make sure we cool this down. We got to plate it properly. Right behind you. Oh, we'll get out of your way. We got two. Got three. All right. We're gonna roast the broccoli. It's naturally got a little bit of sugar. We'll roast it at high heat. We'll take that. By the time that sugar came out, the broccoli will be overcooked. It's done really good. No measurement comes here, bro. Zero measurements. Yeah, we, we don't got time for that. A little salt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with the olive oil. You'll be good at this. You got some power in those, in those double heat bags. massage the shit out of it. Yeah. So you're really the best broccoli you ever had. We're gonna massage it. It would actually steam inside of there. It would start steaming, and that's not the result we want. We want all these pieces to kind of have access to the open air to hit that hot heat. So, powder. so now we'll let you rock a uh, second. I want to we? We're gonna go the rest of this here, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna spicy that's... rock. So that we always keep everything clean. So yeah, let's let's get happy in there. We wanna get we wanna make sure that we hit it with a decent coating. Right now we gotta go for it. You know, you know what that is? That's a, that's a bigger batch. Outside of the name of the company, we got the name of the meal. Chef Ryan's Drunken Chicken Parm Meatballs, fresh simulant pasta, roasted broccoli. A little bit of what's inside, and just tells you when to eat it by. Everything we do, everything that comes out of this kitchen is made fresh the morning of. Yeah. I'll make sure it's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody you need. Yeah, sure. Listen, this was a great experience. Chef Jay, Fit Food, they really have something unique over here. This guy's passion and deep understanding of clean food, wanting to source it locally. Jay likes to take something like chicken parm and make it healthy, something you can put in your body, you really enjoy the taste of it, but still having that clean, low caloric intake. Yeah, man, this is great. Great product, great time. It's a great cause. We're gonna give these meals away if somebody needs it. Yep, this is gonna go to a family who needs it. Um, you know, their daughter had an unfortunate chain of events happen to her, so we're gonna make sure that that family gets these meals and we help them out. And this is awesome. Really yeah, appreciate you having it. We'll do it again. Absolutely. Check out the vlog and check out the reels we're gonna be dropping on this next week.